Hey guys, thanks so much for returning to the channel. You have to see this story to believe it. This man was actually in broad daylight, pleasuring himself with a cucumber. One of the scary things is that this man is still out there on the loose. Someone knows who he is. It's just that we are wondering if he has a history of molestation or if he has a history of stalking or being a sexual predator himself, for him to do this out in broad daylight, this is so bizarre. Please share this video or other videos of this situation because this man really needs to be found and we really need to see what his history is. So remember to hit that like, share, and subscribe button. After this disclaimer, we're going to get right into the video. And we're turning now to a bizarre story in the district. A man caught on camera in the middle of a lewd act, and it happened not far from a high school. DC News Now's Megan Anchor Ben Dennis obtained that video. He spoke with the owner. Ben, what are you learning about potential consequences here? Well, Annalisa, imagine finding part of a cucumber in the grill of your own car. You discovered how it got there, and even worse, why? Part of the sex act that happened right behind these homes directly across the street from Dunbar High School. Now we've stopped the video you're about to see at the very moment that cucumber is used in the sex act for obvious reasons. And right now, police are looking for that suspect. A shocking sight in broad daylight. I was so disgusted and freaked out. It was dinner time just after 5.30 Friday when a man with an apparent lunchbox crept into Catherine Baker's driveway lodged a cucumber in her SUV's grill, checked to see if the coast was clear, and began performing a lewd act. I want people, I want my neighbors to know and keep an eye out for this person. I want parents to be mindful. There's a lot of kids. They're high school students. They walk by themselves to and from school. The alley where this happened is a stone's throw from Dunbar High School. There's children walking around. We just have neighborhood kids, elementary school, middle school, and high school. Right. So it's just a, a, a kid finding neighborhood. So definitely want to get him out of the way. The police report then details what's also quite clear in the video. The suspect chose to keep going, this time in plain view and even appearing to notice the camera, recording the whole thing before putting the vegetable back in the lunchbox and walking away. It was that eye contact that really unsettled me um, because it, it then continues for longer than one would imagine. DC's indecent exposure law says that any public penetration for sexual gratification violates the law. Penalties include a fine up to $300, prison time, no more than 90 days, or both. And having that happen on your property with your car, that's definitely a concern. We all have to be vigilant about this kind of thing. And Baker says that she has not seen this man before. In addition, police, while they are looking for the suspect, it is unknown if he has been seen performing any other sex acts publicly in previous moments. In Northwest, Ben Dennis, back to you. All right, Ben, thank you. And again, D.C. police are looking for that man on your screen connected to that incident. Anyone with info is asked to give them a call.